Welcome back, Weld.com family. Today we're gonna weld some Schedule 80 round plate with some 6010 with that thing. Let's get a closer look. Cyclone 312 MIG and Stick. It's a great little machine. When I say little, I was able to pick this sucker up by myself and I'm just a little wee lad and put it on this table. So it's not too heavy. It's pretty, it's pretty compact for the, how, how, uh, how strong and powerful it actually is. This thing is pretty great for welding on MIG and you can see we can scroll through C25, C100, aluminum, stainless steel, flux core, flux core with gas. And then we finally got stick over here on the very end. Go. And you'll also see it pops up the polarities here where it tells you to plug in your work lead and your electrode. Now that's really gonna depend on what kind of rod you're running. 7018, we're gonna flip that around, make sure we're running reverse polarity, DC positive, making sure our stinger is plugged into the positive terminal. So keep that in mind, the polarity is gonna kind of base off what rod you're running. Now this thing's really powerful as far as a little stick welding machine, 250 amps, 35% duty cycle. That means this thing can run 250 beans for three and a half minutes. Ain't nobody need 250 beans on a stick rod for, for what we're working on, especially on some four inch pipe. So this thing's got everything that we need to do, as much power as we need to weld this pipe. Uh, we can go through and you can see on these settings, this is just the standard kind of customization, customizations of it, where we can kind of go in as a welder and pick our own selection. We can pick the standard rods, which is gonna be more like your 7018s, your low hydrogens, and then we can go over to our cellulose-based rods, which is, again is a different type of flux, has different art characteristics. So the machine's able, capable to run both of those, and that's our 6010 rods. So we can select whatever rod we're running, and then we can go into this customization of these features here, like our arc force, hot start time, hot start amps, and the safety of the VRD. So as far as the arc for force percentage goes, what that's gonna do is make your, your weld either soft or crisp. When I run 7018, I like to try to stay on the softer side of things. So I'm gonna go lower on that arc force. I'm gonna stay low, 20s, 30s. Now when I get to my 6010s and I'm really trying to pack a punch, get through a gap so I can get a nice complete joint penetration in a root, I'm gonna turn that arc force a little higher, closer to 50 or so for these cellulose based rods, especially for an open root pipe weld. Then we can move on to our hot start time. And that is the amount of time that it's gonna add that extra heat at the beginning of the arc strike to keep that rod lit and get it going, get it going faster for you. That's gonna kind of complement with the hot start amps. We got four or six, and again, it says percentage down there. So that's 6% of 79. Or if I just make it simple and I turn this up to 100, got my hot, hot start at 10, that's 10% 10 of 100. So I'm gonna be starting off my hot start at 110 amps that's to get that hot start going at however many seconds that I set it for. Typically, I'm gonna set that sucker for like a half a second or a second, just to get things going, just to get things lit. Uh, as far as the hot start percentage, 10's not so bad. So we'll keep it at 10 for what we're working on. This machine also has got a pretty cool power set function. We can click this power set. We can work through here, pick our selection of rods, 6010, 6011, 6013, 7014, 7018, 711, Seven, I guess I want a slushy. So I don't know why I want to say 7-Eleven, right? We're moving on to the work thickness. You can actually set the work thickness here. We can go up or down. This kind of gives you a halt. It doesn't let me go up and work thickness anymore depending on what size electrode I'm using. So I can also come over here and go to a 532nd rod. This machine's capable of running some 532s, 6010s, 7018s. Again, 250 amps, 35% duty cycle. It'll run whatever rod you need to run it. After you got all that, you can see all the arc force and hot start, hot start amps, all that's on auto. All we gotta worry about is setting the rod, setting the work thickness, and setting our electrode diameter. And this machine sets the amps for you. We can kind of vary, go back and forth, depending on what we wanna do, but that machine's gonna let us know, hey, this is what I recommend. I think you should run it. This is great for beginners who are just getting into it and they're kind of trying to feel themselves out and kind of make their own stamp. 
this is gonna give you at least a good start on where to get going for what you're working with. We're gonna be welding on an open root pipe weld. So as far as the, this auto feature, they don't have a work thickness for open root. So we're gonna go back to our customizations, run down to about 80 amps for the landing gap that I got for this pipe. We're gonna 6010 weld this all the way out, root to cap. Really easy setup. All we gotta do is plug in our leads, positive and negative, but which one goes where? What will I use? The machine's telling us we wanna be running DC negative polarity for stick welding. I'm using a 1 8 bowler rod today. And using this 1 8 bowler rod, it actually tells us we wanna be running 80 to 110 amps for this 6010 rod. And it also tells me down here what polarity, DCEP and or DCEN. So this rod can actually run both polarities. Now you're still thinking, that doesn't help me at all. What polarity do I run? Where do I plug my leads in? That's gonna come down to your WPS, your welding procedure specification for whatever job you're working for. That piece of paper is your cookbook, your recipe to make that weld. And if it tells you to run positive, you run positive. It says run negative, you run negative. If it says run AC, flip your machine to AC. Doesn't matter what you think at that point, follow the procedure. But my procedure's made up in my head, so we're gonna be running DC positive. And all that means is wherever my electrode, wherever my electrode is plugged into is what polarity and I'm running. So I'm gonna be plugging in my stick rod to the positive terminal. That's DC EP, DC plus reverse polarity. They're all the same. Whereas if I flopped it and I ran my electrode into my negative, that's DC negative, DC straight, DC minus, all the same thing. That's if this was over here and that was over there, flip, flop, flip, flop. DC positive electrode to the positive terminal. We're running, I got all of our settings set up, 80 amps. Let's go to the pipe and weld something. All right, guys, so we got our round plate here. It is a Schedule 80 piece of pipe. We've got our 16th inch land, 16th inch gap, 80 amps, Cyclone 312, arc force up to about 50% or 50. And we got our hot start at 10% with about a half a second of beans at the start of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strike up on the top tack, push in, you wanna keep a perpendicular rod angle and really just take it nice and easy down these bevels. We got the right gap, we got the right heat, this should just slide right in. Let's weld it. Well, that old bead's in there now. Ain't nothing but a hot pass will fix. Where'd my helper grab me a bead? I ain't seen a helper in here all day. I guess that means you, cameraman, you're gonna be my helper today. <laughs> what do you mean I gotta grind my own beads? <laughs> oh, I'm dragging up. All right, now that we got a root in there, we're gonna turn this thing up a bit. Turn it 100 amps now, 186010. We're gonna put the hot pass in, downhill.
All right, we got that old dog filled up, nice and flush, kept it inside our bevels. We're gonna move off the little customizationer and move on over to the power set mode, right? So we've got to select our rod, one eighth size rod. We got it already selected. Uh, and as far as the work thickness, it's gonna allow us to pretty much go to about 5 16 which 120 beans for a 1 8 rod, that's, that's enough if you ask me. Make sure we're set to 6010 or 6011 cellulose based rods. All of these are set up for us. We're gonna pop our color because it's getting sparky. You know, I'm getting some hot boys down my shirt. Smells like money. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Will it weld? Cyclone 212, 60 tens, all the way down. It'll weld for sure. So be sure to follow me, Dr. Welds, on all social media platforms as well as weld.com. Tune in on our Weld app. We've got a lot of great content, step-by-step -step tutorials on welds just like this one. And uh, hey, someone put a $100 bill on this pipe for the x-ray team. <laughs>